and welcome back to Maths Plus. Today we have a radical equation. So we have x plus 9 plus square root of root 20. And we're finding x plus 1 over the square root of x. So maybe pause the video and try the problem yourself. But if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. I really appreciate that. Thank you. So let's get started. It has 2 square root 5 by the square root of 4. And also we can look at the 9. We can write it as a separation of 5 on one side and 4 on the other side. Okay, now we're going to look even closer. And what we're going to do now is we're going to look at the square roots. So we can rewrite x is equal to the square root of 5 all to be squared plus the square root of 4 all to be squared plus twice square root 5 square root 4. Now that we have this completed we can recall that the square root of 5 plus the square root of 4 all to be squared is what we have above as it's the square root 5 squared plus square root 4 squared plus twice the cross multipliers. Okay. Now that we have this we can look back and we can see that x can be equated to the square root of 5 plus the square root of 4 all to be squared. Square root x and we will get the square root of square root of 5 plus the square root of 4 all to be squared and remember that's going to be square root of 5 plus the square root of 4. Okay, now let's examine the x plus 1. And we're going to work on this as well and split up this side. So x plus 1, if we add the 1 to the 9, we have a 10. Okay, so now we can say that x plus 1 is equal to 2 by the square root of 5 by the square root of 5 as the square root of 5 squared is 5 plus 2 by the square root of 5 by the square root of 20. Now we can simplify even further. We can say x plus 1 is equal to factor out the 2 square root 5 and we get square root of 5 plus square root of 4 inside. So x plus 1 is equal to 2 square root 5 by square root of 5 plus square root of 4. And we're going to denote this as equation 2. So we have equation 1 and equation 2. And we can put them as a fraction. And we can get the target of x plus 1 over the square root of x. So when we put them together, we can see we have a common factor above and below. And we can cancel out the square root 5 plus square root 4 above and below. And our final answer is x plus 1 all over the square root of x is equal to 2 square root 5. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and see you again very soon.